Here with James Ellisor, a uh, senior on the BSU basketball team uh, from Glendale, Arizona. Uh, James, let's just start off. Uh, your junior college transfer, uh, coming from Arizona. Uh, what ultimately got you to Bemidji State? Um, one day during an uh, open gym at my old junior college, uh, Coach Bowen happened to take a look at uh, Ryan Cannell. He was sp supposedly supposed to look at Ryan first. And then um, he seen me play a few times and um, he found a lot of interest in me. And then from there he talked to me, um, I found interest as well. What, him, what he sold to me as far as what it, that school has to offer. And I took a visit and that's where I started. Uh, obviously a little bit of culture, culture change uh, going from Arizona uh, to Northern Minnesota. What was the first couple of things you noticed uh, on your visit? Uh, it was like, it was a little snow on the ground. It wasn't much because it was during spring. Um, I met a lot of people. It was nice, uh, nice people. Uh, the environment, I thought that I could get, get along well with uh, as far as the camaraderie and the people and just a overall feeling for it. And uh, that's the main reason why I came here. Um, how about, uh, speaking of the, the change, uh, how about food-wise? Uh, do you have a, a favorite spot in town that uh, you've kind of grown to love? Uh, well, coaches took us out a lot during the over the break, and uh, one spot that I really found to love is Giovanni's, um, just for the fact that they have a buffet and they have a variety of food, and I really love that place. Um, obviously, uh, unless you're in the mountains, there's not a lot of snow uh, in Arizona. Mm -hmm. uh, have you uh, developed any cold weather, snow weather uh, activities or sports? Gone ice fishing or, or gone out skiing yet? I have yet to do any of those things. Um, Funny thing is, a uh, coach and a few other guys told me uh, they they're planning on taking us out places. The only thing I've been, the only thing I've done really so far is curling with the guys. Um, I plan to go ice skating and hopefully skiing one of these days. How was your curling experience? The curling experience was very fun. Uh, guys had a great time, got to laugh, got to hang out and just do something new. Uh, especially the guys coming from Arizona as well as myself. It was a great experience. I didn't, I learned how to curl after seeing it many times on TV, and uh, it was fun. How about, uh, you mentioned a little bit there uh, with you know adding some uh, more Arizona uh, guys this year. Mm -hmm. um, what was your process in, in both getting them up here and then once they got here, uh, did you uh, kind of take over a little bit of mentor role and show them around a little bit? Uh, yeah, I did for some, some part. Uh, Coach Williamson, he was the guy who recruited uh, both Jason and Jermaine here. And uh, the finishing pieces were for me to try to get those guys to come here as well. And um, I kind of talk, I contacted them throughout the year, last uh, last spring, and uh, they kind of liked what I had to say. And I think their visit up here was also good, so that's why they came here as well. Um, how about any uh, pregame uh, rituals? Uh, do you have any uh, any pregame rituals, quirks, uh, things you need to do before each game? Uh, I'm not a big superstitious guy. I'm just a guy who likes to go out there and play. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm not too fancy of any rituals or superstitions. A lot of other guys do, but me, I'm just a guy who just, I'm ready and ready to play, ready to compete. Let's talk a little bit about this year. Um, let's go back just to last weekend. Uh, 34 points, uh, career high here at BSU um, against Augustan. Obviously, in a loss, uh, it's a little hard to get excited about that, but can you can you remember if you felt any different? Was something different clicking for you uh, on a night like that? Well, um, going into the game, I, I felt like I needed to have a good game because Augustana is a one of the top teams in our conference, and um, in order for us to win, we would have to play well as a team. And for myself, I know I have to score and try to just contribute in big ways, whether it's rebounding, defensive end, trying to stop the other player. Um, I didn't feel anything special at all. I just the game came to me, and as the game went on, I felt hot, and my teammates were able to give me the ball inside, and I was able to operate. And uh, fortunately for, for us, we took the loss in double overtime, but I think it's a great learning experience for us to move on. Talk a little bit about your scoring this year in general, or in your lead in the conference. Uh, was that a goal that you had at uh, uh, start of the season? Uh, not really. Um, my goal was uh, just continue to improve every day, uh, in, in practice and in games and uh, just try to be aggressive because I remember coach told me my role 
on the team was a scorer, and um, I wanted to make sure I do that. Did a great job at it as well as becoming a leader. And this year I'm taking on both of those roles pretty well, and um, I'm I'm actually doing well, and I want to continue to do it. Uh, what is it about? Uh, you know, you, this is your second season at BSU. What is it about this group of guys um, that might be a little different from last year? Uh, it's not much different. Uh, of course, we left uh, senior last year, Pat Cassidy, and we were training most of the guys we had from last year as well. But um, I don't think there's that much of a difference. I think just playing with them last year, uh, experiences, the tough losses we had, um, and just gaining more valuable experience and learning what the guys like, what the guys like to do in certain situations and how they play. I think that's what's helped us a lot this year. And uh, just the camaraderie around the locker room, on and off the court, hanging out on the court, it shows as well. And it's really helped us uh, win games this year. Just seems like this team is really disciplined. Uh, not turning the ball over, you're one of the top ranked teams in the nation. Uh, and, and the amount of turnovers, uh, the fouls is low as well, are low as well. Mm -hmm. um, not letting the other team get to the line. Uh, what is it about the discipline about uh, this team? Well, coaches have stressed a lot of emphasis on playing defense and moving our feet. And from the start of last spring when we had uh, individual workouts and workouts as a team, that's what we worked on a lot and throughout the summer and during the off season before the season started. And that's what's helped us uh, become a great defensive, not a great defensive team, but a good, good defensive team and holding our opponents to under about 60, 65 points a game. Um, I think just working on that every day in practice and during the off season has helped. I know it's only uh, a little bit over a third of the way this season, um, but the team's off to a great start. Um, what is it? Uh, I know you need to take one game at a time, but does any anybody start talking and thinking about down the road and, and hosting playoffs and making playoffs yet? I think I think so. Coach coaches uh, haven't expressed their goals to us as the, to the players, but. They feel like we're a, a contending team in our conference. For uh, where now we're sitting fourth, but uh, I think they know we could do better. We know we could do better. And um, as far as goals, I think coach wants us to uh, try to get that top seed. So when playoffs come, we can actually host a home game and then from there, go from there. Uh, speaking of being at home, uh, six and zero right now. Mm -hmm. um, got four straight home games now. Pretty important stretch. Uh, what is it about uh, the the home gym this year? Um, huh. Honestly, I couldn't tell you. It's just a feeling. Um, uh, of course, we practice a lot on the court. Um, I think we just we just all feel like we we have to protect our court, home court, especially during uh, the conference games, where you know anytime a team comes, they can easily uh, they easily beat you on your on our home court. And I feel like as players, we. We feel like we have to protect our home court in order for us to get a top seed in the playoffs. I know there's a lot of work to be done uh, the rest of this year, um, but have you uh, considered uh, continuing your basketball career after after college? I hope so. Um, coaches told me that uh, after after my senior year, I could I could be a player who plays professionally somewhere for 10 to 15 years, and uh, hopefully, as the season goes on and our team continues to do well. I have some offers coming in or somewhere in Europe or overseas or somewhere I go play and that's what I do look forward to. Um, after maybe a, a hopefully successful basketball career, do you have any um, plans after basketball? I would like to be in the media, just uh, being able to talk about sports, being maybe a sport analyst or a broadcaster, debating about it um, somewhere in that field. I think I love. I have the, I have a passion for sports, especially basketball. And I think just talking about it would uh, be a great future for me.